You got questions, we've got answers. Just ask Kenneth. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's time for another Ask Camp Kennan question and today's question comes from, uh, oh, I believe it's Chris Hartman. Let me check right now. It's so crazy. I believe it is Chris Hartman. And uh, no, it's Craig Hartman. See people, that's why I always keep a cheap sheet. Uh, a cheap sheet. A cheat sheet. Gosh, I'm such a mess this morning. Anyway, Craig, Craig asks, how did you start Camp Kennan and did you know where it was going at the time? Would you encourage others to start a sanctuary of their own? Um, well guys, um, I had no idea what I was doing. I basically, and as I'm walking around, we got downed tree branches here, but we do have some fruit. Um, no guys, I didn't really, I, I knew I always wanted to, since I was a young fella, I knew I always wanted to have some kind of, uh, you know, zoo-like facility. I loved going to the zoo. I went to the Bronx Zoo so much as a young guy. My uh, older sister, Dorothy, would bring me to the Bronx Zoo. My mom would bring me to the zoo, and I loved it. And so basically, what I would do is just um, daydream constantly about having my own place, kind of like you guys do, I'm sure. Um, by the way, I'm throwing some mango in for everybody to eat. Here are the elongated tortoises and the mountain tortoises. So I would daydream and daydream, and then basically what happened was I kind of got older, and um, you know started doing the BMX stuff and so animals never really took a back seat but the BMX was definitely more on my mind and I would basically do that and while I'm talking to you I'm collecting some of these mangoes because they are so tasty so I gotta have mangoes too um, you know I did that for a long time did well at it and it enabled me to buy a house and I bought a house in Las Vegas and the first thing I did when I was in Las Vegas was I transformed the backyard which is difficult to do into Las Vegas into a giant turtle pond now as you can imagine being in the middle of a desert uh, water is costly and the other thing about Las Vegas that most people don't know is it gets cold there so I could only have my animals for a little while and uh, then it would get too cold and it was kind of a bummer because I everyone would hibernate and whatnot and Man, I, I just wanted my animals all the time. So after two short years of living in Las Vegas, I moved down here to Florida. And this was the first place I found when I came down. And I knew it was perfect. So this is Camp Kennan. Uh, and it evolved, man, it evolved. I just started doing little bits of work and you know, started figuring like, gosh, this is, this is what I really love to do. And so I, I started building and I started meeting uh, people in the reptile world and in the conservation world and it kind of morphed it was kind of an accident and that's how most things happen you know i mean you can have a plan here are the cherry heads you can have a bit of a plan uh or a dream but until you start working on that dream just taking that first step and the first step for me was moving to florida and building uh a place that I wanted to be in all the time a backyard that I always could like get excited about and have animals in and then I started to realize that if you have the good fortune of you know having a decent job uh, saving your money not spending it on frivolous things you then can provide a really cool place for animals and once I met the right people like in the Turtle Survival Alliance and the Turtle and Tortoise Preservation Group and uh, many different, uh, the Bush Wildlife Sanctuary, many different um, places. I realized that there's a need to house animals uh, that are unwanted or uh, orphaned or just, you know, anyway, like illegally confiscated. They need facilities. And uh, that's exactly what I did. And so the animals you're seeing now, uh, the mountain tortoise and the elongated tortoises here eating this mango, uh, these are animals that that um, you know had nowhere else to go. And it's such a shame, and because I have uh, the know-how and the space, it was really fantastic for me. So, you know, I don't know if this is answering your question, Craig, but um, basically, it's a happy accident. It, it's a little bit of a dream I've had. Uh, you know, you, you take those steps, baby steps, and the next thing you know, it's 20 years later, and you got your own house, with reptiles and you're doing YouTube videos, you know? Uh, and you're able to communicate and share that passion with so many other passionate individuals like yourself, 
looking to get into it. So that's the advice. I'd say get out there, uh, do what you can. Don't go crazy buying tons of animals, you know, like work with a few animals, get it down, figure out how you're gonna do it. Uh, make sure you do it well because it's not about uh, how many animals you have, right? It's about how well you can care for them. Let's go over here and look at these guys. So, you know, that's, that's what I would suggest, guys. Um, I love these animals. I love doing what I'm doing. And the more I can do something on a larger scale, like when we helped out with Crockfest and raised $48,000. Oh, look, at there's a, there is a tick. Let's do this. This is normal. It happens. Can't be upset about ticks, everybody. If I can get this tick, I don't know if he's going to show me his head again. We'll have to get that little dude later. But um, anyway, what happens is, um, you know, you can really affect the change, and that's fantastic. Change is good if you're helping out. Oh, I missed it. I couldn't get it. That's my ADD nature, everybody. I see something, and I start going for it. But unfortunately, I can't pluck that tick off. Uh, as long as they're not inundated with tons and tons of ticks, it's okay. Um, I'll get it off, and he'll be happier but um, yeah that's what's going on everybody you know just basically start it out um, you know do your thing in a small way you'll learn a bunch you'll meet a bunch of people uh, and you know keep good people around you and by that I've been to sanctuaries you know where the animals really aren't cared for well uh, they have good intentions but they take on too many animals and the next thing you know uh, there's just too many uh, and they can't really care for them I got him. I got this little booger. We're going to go squish a tick. But um, anyway, uh, that's that. I got mangoes. We got a tick off the animal. We did a video. Oh, uh, yeah, gross. Uh, yeah. Sorry, guys. This, ew, they, don't, they don't smash easy. Ah. Do you want to see it? Sorry, dude. <laughs> But we can't have a new make more little ticks to go around sucking the blood off my creatures. Little Dracula. All right, everybody. I don't know. It's a rambling uh, ass camp cannon, but I like to do that. I like to give it to you straight. These guys are making short work of the mango. And uh, I got a beautiful day planned. So I hope your weekend's going well. And I hope you enjoy the bonus. It looks like these uh, cherry heads want to get in on the mango action. So I'm going to find another one and get him to it. And so many of you have been asking about Colin. Here he is. Colin's been hanging out in this enclosure right now. This is where Colin's living and he's uh, doing very well. We love Colin and uh, more importantly, we love you guys. Thanks for joining us. I'll see you again real soon. I'll leave you with some tortoises eating mango.